Hey guys, it's Miss Philly. Oh, okay, today's video is not existing because I didn't feel like freaking thrifting. I'm just so livid. But I'll do a mother mukbang for you because we went to Wendy's. So while I rant, we're going to eat and rant, okay? So <laughs> eat and rant in today's video. Deal with it. I'm going to call from the dry cleaning company that freaking dry cleaned my Canada Goose jacket, okay? And she calls me up and says, there, I spoke to the girl that, oh, they gave me the wrong salad. We spoke to the girl that took her, that, uh, that helped you that day. And she said she never took payment. Motherfucking liar. Motherfucking liar. Oh, that just irked me. Cause that is just a blatant effing lie. Either she a lying hoe or she just a dumb hoe. Either way, she's one hoe or another. So she says that. Okay. And I'm like. She's like, and then she says that she's new, so she would not even know how to take payment. If you don't even know how to fucking take payment, then why the fuck are you working there? Hello? Like, so you're basically saying I'm lying. She's like, I'm saying that we don't have any record of your payment. So here's a lesson for you guys. Always pay through, like you're doing with business like that, pay through freaking debit or pay through credit card. Because cash is not your friend when, when it comes to that. It just, it just isn't. Mm-mm. I asked Wendy's for a Caesar and they gave me a fucking garden, which granted is still healthier, but I didn't want all these cheese, all this cheese in it. <sighs> I'm so annoyed with Value Village yesterday. I just did not feel like thrifting today. Maybe I'll go to Salvation Army. Maybe we'll do that, but <sighs> so annoyed. Um, so then I literally had like a yelling fest with her on the phone. She's like, I'm like, so what can we do about this? She's like, well, we can't do anything because there's no record of payment. You're a bad business. If that's what you're doing, like if not, like if that's what you're doing, if you have incompetent workers or workers that scam you, there's something wrong with you. Maybe you shouldn't be in business. Okay. Um, And the fact of the matter is, the fact of the matter is, I've been back to that dry cleaners the first time to drop off my jacket. Then they said it was due, it was done on October 22nd. Went back there. Then they tell me it's not ready. Came back. They said it's going to be ready the next day. Came back there a third time. They still said it's not ready. And they said, we'll just call you. And they didn't even call me. I got a, then I get a call from the head office saying that something's wrong with your jacket. We fucked it up. We followed proper instruction, dry cleaning instructions, but something still happened. Maybe it's a factory defect. Is it, or are you just incompetent? The girl on the phone though at head office, she's pretty okay to deal with, but the person working there is a B. Even like, Then I freaking like lost it on the phone. I'm like, first you fuck up my jacket. And then you're telling me that you called me a liar that I didn't pay. This is ridiculous. I'm going to call head office. And she's like, head office is aware of this. I'm like, motherfucker. And I hung up on that bitch. Like, seriously. Fuck. Like, I'm not, I don't want to be, like, I, I don't think that I'm better than anybody at all. I don't think that at all. And I'm in no position to be bragging about anything, obviously. But when I called head office, I was like, I, like, lost it. I was like, I'm not a person who's very... When I lose it, I lose it. I was like, I fucking drive a Cadillac at $65,000. Does it look like I'm going to try and scam you for $26? I don't think so, Okay. Ugh. Anyway. So then the head office called me and tells me they're going to issue me a check for $26. So at least that's taken care of. It's not even about the money. Even though I'm a broke bitch and trying to save money. It's not even about the money. It's the principle, you know. Even if she just said it in a nice way, I'm sorry, ma'am, but we don't have, like, the way, it was like her tone. I didn't like her tone. If she said it in a more, like, 
empathetic, sympathetic tone, as in they don't know what happened, rather than it's impossible that that could have happened, then I would be more willing to let it go. But if you're going to be a biatch to me on the phone, then I'm going to be a biatch to you too. So I sent the jacket off to Canada Goose. Um, oh wait, before we get into that, I talked to the girl in head office. I told her the hologram was missing. And she was kind of silent on the phone. And she's like, well, we've had very, we've had a lot of experiences where the hologram is peeling and it comes off. My hologram was not peeling. You guy, hello, look at this. I told her, I'm like, I sent the jacket in. Well, I told her, I'm like, my hologram wasn't peeling. And then, and I, and then I, I proceeded to tell her, I'm like, I'm a YouTuber. I do YouTube videos. And before I sent in my, my jacket for dry cleaning, I actually videotaped it and showed the hologram and everything. And it's date stamped on my camera roll of that day. So I'm like, my, 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 my hologram was not peeling. And she's like, oh, well, it is just a sticker and it just kind of, it can, it can fall off during the dry cleaning process. I'm like, really? Really? Is, is that how that works? Really? duly noted so to me it doesn't even seem like a can of, like it could be a can of goose defect on the product who knows but the fact of the matter is that there's three inconsistencies that feel like it's negligence you know the the, the bleeding of the dye and then there's like a spot on the back i can see the bleeding of the dye being a manufacturer defect but when there's a toggle like mark on the back of the jacket that wasn't there before and now the hologram is coming off like what are you using are you using fucking like a uh, boiler to heat up my jacket to cleanse it i don't know what you're doing but <clears throat> on the flip side it could just be a complete manufacturer defect of the jacket and maybe that's why it's doing all these things i don't know i'm not no expert a lot of people are saying oh maybe they traded your jacket maybe they flipped it around no i i recognize a jacket i've i handled it when i bought it so i know what it's what my jacket looks like mm. a lot of people are like do you think it might be a fit that's why it's falling apart it's not falling apart number one and number two um, I know a de the difference between a fake can of goose and a real can of goose. I've had purchased, handled real ones. I went on their can of goose website to determine fake versus real. I watched a YouTube video that was very precise on how to tell real versus fake. Okay. I swear my blood pressure is rising. I need to lock myself out away from the world and just chill can't deal with people <sighs> I don't consider throwing water out the window as littering because technically it's not it's water oh I still have another salad fuck <laughs> I feel like I'm full already. So that's that. Fuck you, Crouton. I had to literally drive like 30 minutes to drop off something for my friend because she purchases a lot of my clothes that I thrift. So. Clearly I'm still on my health diet. Breakfast I had avocado and eggs on toast.
500 calories. I don't want to eat any more of these croutons. These croutons are like just empty calories. Okay, I'll have one. Okay, two, three. Let's eat the burger. It's not a burger. It's a chicken. It's a grilled chicken. It's only 370 calories. So. Hey, that guy has a pajar jacket. On a different note, I've been watching Charmed, the reboot, which actually isn't bad. I'm not in love with the characters. Like, the first Charmed, when I first started trying to watch it in 98, which was like a million years ago, I was so not into it. I was more into Buffy the Vampire Slayer and, like, Dawson's Creek. I didn't actually start watching Charmed until, like, I think, like, five or six years ago. I gave it a chance. The first season was like, oh, it's so dated. It seems so old. But once you more, you got, I got more into it. I actually started liking it. And I actually watched it up until I think the fifth or sixth season. Then I stopped. I really cared about Prue. I really loved her character and Rose McGowan's character. And Alyssa Milano's. I didn't really care about Holly and Marie Combs, the one with the time freezing. I didn't care about her. And a lot of the guys were cute in that, um, on that, the first charm. The second charm has like a Latina kind of twist. Not really in love with any of the characters yet. There's only been two episodes, so I watched those. Those were pretty good. Um, so I'm still going to continue and see how it goes. Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Oh my god. The, re the remake is crazy. It's supposed to be PG-14, so 14-year-olds can watch it. They have like vulgarity, lots of sex without the nudity. And a lot of like swearing and the violence in it is crazy Whew. i guess because it's not on regular cable it's on netflix but still i think it would still be like at least rated pg-18 not pg-18 rated 18 mature or rated r because i mean like the part where like someone gets stabbed in the neck it just you could just see it go through and blood splurt out like freaking 300 that movie or in those quentin tarantino movies where the blood splurts out that's how it was on the show and like all the demons and devils and Satan. I'm like, oh my God. Some like crazy kid's going to watch this and probably is not stable and is going to be like given ideas. I don't know. It's just crazy. I liked it though, but. <laughs> I'm on episode three and it's pretty good so far. I'm meaning to watch The Connors. I love the reboot of Roseanne. I was so sad when Roseanne got off the air or got cancelled. But I was going something back then, back in May. I was going through something traumatic. So I didn't really care about it. Now I do. Because <laughs> it was a really good show. But, um, yeah. I haven't seen the first episode, but I did PVR last week's episode and today i'm going to pvr it but i want i'm trying to find the first episode online to watch and i can't find it so i want to watch it in continuum but so i'm waiting on that till i find the first episode oh i actually sent some um, went to valley village actually just to donate some stuff and I got a $2 off coupon and three stamps, so, yeah. Uh, I just wanna... Oh, I got another 20% off and another $2 off coupon, yay! 
What's this? Nothing. And, oh, I have to return that toaster from Valley Village that I bought. It doesn't work. It was working in a store and then at home. It doesn't work. What the F? Good thing it didn't have no exchange on it because it can be a little bit anal when it comes to that. Oh, I need my keys. Anyway, guys, I'm going to end this video. Sorry there was no thriftology, no thrifting. Apologize. Um, uh, I got so much garbage in. That's the one thing I don't understand why why cars haven't invented is garbage receptacles in the car. Like, that is like, look at all this garbage. Like, people sometimes live in their car. People eat in their car. People fuck in their car. People, you know, do a lot of shit in their car that involves garbage. So, I want somebody to throw away my cum rag, okay? So, I don't know why they never invented, like, a trash receptacle in the car. Like, hello, what year is it? How long have cars been around? Like, it would be super cool if, like, if, like, you had something built in, like, here or something. And it's, like, you just put it in and it sucks it all the way back to the to the back seat. Or not back seat, to the trunk or something. Or maybe, like, a little, I don't know, compartment and just empty. Kind of like a trash chute in an apartment. That's my two thoughts on my two cents in that. Anyway, guys, we're going to end this video. Again, I'm sorry that it was a whole lot of nothing, but you got a little bit of a chat with Miss Philly, and some of you actually like the chatting videos. Not always the thrifting videos. But remember to stay positive, progressive, and productive. Okay, I'm doing, I'm so fake. I'm, I'm just acting when I say that. I'm not in a positive, productive, progressive mood right now.